Okay, in this video I want to show you how to do a, fa a, a full factory restore on a Toshiba laptop. Um, this method will work on most Toshiba, um, Toshiba satellite models, Tecra models, um, and any other model laptop uh, that you might have. It might actually work on um, desktops, and I know it will work on uh, a lot of tablets as well. Um, the whole purpose of doing a full factory restore is basically you're going to have it in the condition it was in as soon as it was opened out of the box. No personal stuff on it, no no pictures, no videos, or anything else like that. And the main premise and the main reason to do that is because if you're going to resell it, or if you're going to give it to a family member, um, or for you know whatever reason, you might be scrapping it or donating it or whatever, um, and someone might be able to get some use out of it. So to do that, uh, it's pretty easy. First of all, if you have any personal information or any uh, pictures or photos or videos that you, need, that you want to get off of it, you'll need to do that first because if you don't, it will be erased with this full factory restore. Um, easiest way to do it is you can get like a little thumbnail. You can get these at Walgreens or any drugstore or Walmart. Get them as low as like 10 bucks. Um, get, you can get a good 20, 30 gig for 10 bucks now. And what you do is just drag it, go to, go to my computer in, on your desktop and just drag it. And uh, again, this whole method will work with most Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 laptops. Uh, it'll work with some Windows Vista laptops. Um, Windows XP, usually not. Usually you have to have a, a hard disk. And the reason that they, um, the reason that they started doing that the operating system is on the actual on the actual hard drive itself and um, if you've never seen a hard drive before most of most laptops um, have a hard drive that looks like this it's about two and a half inches long um, that's called an IDE and this is called a SATA and that's probably the one that you have in your computer in your Toshiba um, and what they'll do is they'll put the actual operating system on that so they'll put Windows 7 or Windows 8 and it doesn't take up that much space it takes like 5 to 10 gigs out of like a you know 250 gig hard drive uh, the reason that they started doing that um, Microsoft required it because people would pirate the actual software and put it on computers that where the license didn't you know wasn't registered to that particular computer and so that's the reason they did that you know they, like I said they used to put it on like DVD discs so, we'll go ahead and start with this Toshiba. It's plugged in. You got to make sure you have it plugged in because it will ask you to do that. And on a Toshiba model, what you do as soon as you turn it on, you want to press the the the, uh, the number zero, which of course will be to the right of the nine. Number zero, not the letter O, but you need to be pressing the number zero as soon as you turn it on. As soon as you see that Toshiba logo, you start tapping it. Okay. And then you're going to see a little bar. Windows is loading files. That, that means you know it's catching. For whatever reason, if it doesn't, if it just goes directly back to your operating system, uh, you'll need to turn it off and do it again. Try it three or four times. Uh, you can try different things. You can hold it down. You can hold the uh, the number zero down. You can tap it. If for whatever reason it doesn't, either a the operating system is not on your partition, or b your hard drive is actually going bad. If your hard drive is going bad, you'll need to purchase another hard drive, and then you'll also need to purchase um, uh, a DVD, or you might be able to contact Toshiba directly and just say, hey, I got this model. Can I have? Can I have the the DVD that goes with the associated uh, Windows, whether that be 7, 8, 10, Vista? All right. So it says Recovery Wizard warning: When the recovery is executed, all data will be deleted and rewritten. If you are restoring from a backup, did you make sure you backed it all up, all important data, and configure Windows the way you want to restore it? And again, that's what I was talking about with the uh, USB thumbnail drive. Please connect the AC adapter. Alright, then we go down here and we click uh, yes. Alright, so it'll give us two options. Recover of factory default software. Recovery to 
out of the box state. That's what we were talking about. Or you can just erase the hard disk. It'll delete all the partitions. So, for example, if you want to give your computer away, but uh, you do not want the hard drive to go with it, it will have your sensitive files on the hard drive. So if you're an engineer, computer engineer, and you really, really, really want the information on that computer, they can extract it. So if that's the case, um, and you don't want, you know, financial material uh, being, uh, you know, uh, encrypted by some kind of engineer for whatever reason, uh, you can go ahead and just do the erase the hard disk. If you're if you're that concerned about it, I'd recommend you just destroy the hard drive. But um, all right, so we're anyways we're gonna go to recover a factory default. Go to next, and again it says recover to out of box state. Recover without changing the hard drive partitions, and recover to a custom size partition. So we'll go with the first one. Recover to out of box. All right, start the recovery. All partitions will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Press the next to start the recovery. So once you start and you hit this, that's it. It's going to put Windows 7 or Windows 8 or whatever you have onto your clean state back onto your laptop. Next. So it started the it's it has started the full recovery, and um, it usually takes about 30 minutes to do it. Um, right now it's preparing. What they'll do is they'll do a countdown from 1% 1, 1 to 100. And after it does that, then it'll install the drivers. The drivers is like your Wi-Fi, your, um, your sound, all that stuff. But you don't have to do anything. From here, it'll completely do what it needs to do. Sit back and relax and uh, let it do its thing. And you should be all set with... Uh, with a freshly clean computer. Alright, thank you for watching.